All right, guys, what is going on? This is the 50th episode of the Anxiety and Depression Vlogs, and today we are gonna talk about something that I stumbled upon on the internet that I thought was super cool and motivating, and I, I just had to share it with you guys. So this is a clip of a guy by the name of David Goggins, who is an ex-Navy SEAL, and he is a guy who is known as the world's toughest man. So check him out. A lot of people say that nothing's impossible. Shit. I even said that nothing's impossible several times in my life. I lied. There's a lot of things that are impossible for you to do. But what happens is when we come across something that's very hard and we try it once or maybe twice, we then say, we're done. We can't do it anymore. Before you say something's impossible, do it and do it and do it to a level that people think that you might be fucking crazy until you say it's impossible. I'm tied up, hands and feet. I fucking hate the water. I sink like a fucking rock. But this is the one thing that almost stopped me from feeling my dreams. So as you saw there, he was talking about facing his fears and what you gotta do is dive head on and face those fears in order to grow and to succeed in life. And uh, what I was thinking when he, when he was talking about those things, I was like, okay, if we can apply those to someone dealing with anxiety or depression, um, you know, whether it's fears of trying new medications or, um, you know, let, let's stick with that example for, for instance. Um, when you try medications, a lot of times people who have anxiety or depression and are on medications that's not the first medication that they tried that worked for them. It takes, it's a process for a lot of people where you try one, it still doesn't work. You try another, it still doesn't work. And if you are persistent enough and you face that fear and, and you do things over and over and over until you succeed, you're eventually going to stumble upon a medication that works for you. And the same thing goes with um, doing a morning routine, doing it day in and day out to see the big results you know you can do it for a week you can do it for a month but you have to make it a lifestyle in order to see the drastic changes that it can provide for your life um, and that's part of facing your fears you know so committing to something for the rest of your life is a huge decision because there's no end point there's no uh, reward it's the reward is every day succeeding and becoming a little bit better than you were the day before and that's the reward and i think you know, facing your fears, that's something that not a lot of people want to do. And once you do and you overcome that fear, it's one of the greatest feelings in the world. And David Goggins is by no means shy of anything that he is fearful of. So the other thing I wanted to say is also when you do things over and over like a morning routine or, you know, persisting to find the right medication for you, you can also choose to be happy. And it, 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 it sounds a lot easier than what I mean, but choosing to be happy, I mean, being happy is a choice. And it's also a choice to be in a depressive state. It doesn't mean that you can just snap out of it and fake it, but it means that you can choose to have a positive outlook even though you might not necessarily feel that way in your heart. And over time, the more consistently that you are with it, the more your outlook on life is gonna change. And, and you will start to see your happiness increase. And one day you're gonna look back and, and, and just realize like, yeah, I'm actually, you know, I feel pretty good today. You know, this is the first time in a while that I'm actually starting to feel a lot better. And it's gonna be a gradual change. It won't happen overnight. But once you do those things consistently, once you face your fears, and, and once you dive head on into them, they're gonna change your life. 